Hello, one and all, to... Hello, welcome to episode three of this uh, non-league to legend challenge. Thank you for all the nice comments so far. Thank you to Captain Goodspeed, who I probably wouldn't even be playing this if it wasn't for him. But thank you for your lovely comment, mate. I really appreciated it. And thank you to Nick, who in episode one said, oh, I'm now going to be a fan of fake Hemel. And in episode two, he said, hashtag make you out. So um, that is how fickle some fans are. But you'll currently see that's where we currently are on the table. Ten points from 11 games, um, which is not great. But I mean, it's really tricky because it's kind of where we're expected to be, really. We're not a good team. <laughs> it's sad to be saying that. But like literally... Be competitive in the FA Cup. We started the FA Cup in the second round. We won in the second round. And it said it's a good result for Hemel, who were only expected to reach the second round. So literally, the expectations for us were to, to, to just play. One thing we do have is a new owner who basically said we're not going to invest any money in the club and gave us harder... <laughs> Harder objectives. Most objectives are the same, but now I think we have to also. I think this is a new one. Uh, grow the club's reputation. So they're not giving us any money. There's no oil tycoons here. It's just a new owner who is probably going to make it even more difficult, which is not really what you want. But I'll show you the results since you were last here. Um, the very next game, we beat Chessant 2 0 in the Vanuana South, and there was a lovely goal by um, Saunders but he's pretty much been our, our player of the season so far picked up as a free agent and he's done a real job for us which is great is this it? yeah I think this is it just a breakaway here from their attack um, I think it is classic <laughs> non-league long ball Obi here he goes around the keeper You're like, he's going to score the defender gets a deflection, they stop it, but then we win it back. The Saunders, like Frank Lampard in the World Cup. Beautiful finish, absolutely fantastic. So you won that 2 0. We lost this 2 4 against Dolwich, you were relegated last season, and it was 2 all up to the 77th minute, so that was disappointing. We then played Tilbury, I was going to come back for this match, but because they're in the league below us, in the FA Cup second qualified round, I thought I'd play it. We won pretty comfortably 3-1. We well, then got absolutely thrashed by Worthing. And this is one of those results that, literally, I feel like every time I play football manager, once a season I have a game like this, where we do nothing attacking, we're just under pressure all game, and we get absolutely thrashed. But not only that, they had 14 shots on target, and our goalie let seven in. So it's, again, one of those games in Football Manager where you just go, right, I'm sorry, goalkeeper. I'm sure you're a great person in real life. I'm sure you're amazing in other people's saves. But if you're going to play that badly in this game, I don't want to play you ever again. So I've had to try and look for a new keeper who I have signed because they had in seven goals from 14 shots on target. And I think three of those shots on target were from outside the box and they all went in. It was embarrassing. And we... Did come back though, the following game, managed to win 4-2 against Tunbridge, which was a fantastic result. You know, literally the 80th minute we were 2-1 down. We scored in the 81st, 89th and the 91st. Fantastic finish to the game. And now in the FA Cup third qualifying round, we're against Farnborough, who we comfortably beat in the first game. So I'm, I don't want to say confident, because I'm never massively, I think you can never be too confident in football manager ever <laughs> but um i'm gonna try <laughs> i'm going to try uh we got this goalie on loan as he'll be second choice really i don't really know why i even loaned him in he was just better than our current second choice and this is the guy we signed Hadart, who's three and a half potential four and a half he was a free agent absolute steal really and king will were uh, probably be dropped well, i'm looking to try and sell him to be honest because uh you just can't trust a player after they play that badly in one game it might have been his one-off worst game of his life but you know it was just so bad i was 
close to resign not literally but you know what i mean it's one of those where you just go how where has this performance come from yeah horrible so hopefully our new keeper will do a better job can't do any worse <laughs> but king's been all right before that but he just put in a, a real stinker so at the very least we're going to give haddard haddard a few haddard it's not like a new version of Hannard. We're going to give Huddart a few games because I think he'll do a better job. Jake, Jack Turner. That's interesting. I had a goalie called Jake Turner in the previous game. I've still not got the face pack. The main reason being that the face pack would take up a lot of space on my laptop. So uh, I mean, they've just got they've all got faces. Lucky lads. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't want to use the space on my laptop. Um, again, this isn't going to be the uh, most fancy let's play but i hope you guys still enjoy it anyway i'm enjo enjoying making it I'm, i know i'm only three episodes in but it's the kind of thing i've not done for a long time and i am i do enjoy the process when i do it so so poku tries to put it in he gets a deflection his o'connor elunga puts the ball over the top obi there and he taps it in fifth goal of the season for obi just tell you what, he, he scored in our first ever game. Then he had a bit of a drought without scoring. And now he's found his scoring boots again. He must have accidentally left them at home, but he's managed to bring them in. And he's he, he's absolutely key. He's turned into a fantastic little striker for us. Oh, here's Bartley. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, there we go. A save. Oh, that's lovely to see. I didn't see enough of them in a, a game the other day. <laughs> Right, Castellone. Is that how you say it? Here's Obi. Obi just doing something. <laughs> I mean, what's strange about the game we won 4 2 is that we were against a team who was second in the league. Oh, but here's Obi, he's through. Oh, and again, absolutely incredible. Obi, Obi. That's going to be what they chant. Praise the entire team. Like, there we go, we might. I mean, 10 minutes in, he's on a hat-trick. I've not had a player score a hat-trick yet, but Obi, if anyone could do it, it's you, my son. Fantastic finish. Cool. Good tracking back by Saunders there. Come on, O'Connor. To Alunga. To Mead. Through for Saunders. Oh, what a finish. Seventh of the season, so he is our, our top scorer, but... I mean, he's he's been our player of the year, as I've already said this video, but him and Obi are, are going to be vital if we want to do anything this season. One was a player who was already here, and one was a free agent, but he's been incredible. Saunders. Another highlight here. We are... Um... Oh, the keeper comes out, and he clears it. I've never had it where the keeper comes out and we score from the halfway line. I'd love that to happen. Greenwich for Saunders. Saunders also won his hat-trick. This is amazing. 18 minutes in, we are 4-0 up. <laughs> Somehow, this video could not <laughs> have started any any um, more differently than the previous one. Because this is incredible. Two players on a hat-trick. And we're only 18. Our XG is 1.17 and we've got four. That is mad. Four shots on target. We've scored all of them. But here we go. Mead here. And he's played it through for Greenridge. Who, oh, beyond it. Oh, I thought that was his hat trick. Oh, I would have bet money on that being his hat trick. Just had to smack it in. Sears forward. They're going to head it. Roberts has won it. Oh, they've got Steve Davis as well in defence. Here he is, Davis. Interesting ball. Sears has kept it on for no apparent reason. <laughs> Interesting header, and they've got it. Rob Deere in. Here's OB at the halfway line. Plays it forward. For Greenridge. They're getting a decent little partnership going. Mead in for Saunders, and he gets our first hat trick of the series of FM23. Saunders has got a hat trick. Absolutely incredible. 
I mean, we have destroyed Farnborough this game. And it's not even half time. <laughs> I actually still need two, but we've scored five. I don't want to mark anyone. I don't care. We don't have to do it. We're, we're, we're thrashing them, mate. <laughs> Deering's injured. Oh, that's sad. Deering in, a he Deering in the headlights. No. Exiting that one out. Oh, they play it through for Bartley. He's through on goal. He's crossed it to Fernand. Oh, and he hit, hits it wide. I'm going to just going to encourage the lads. You're doing well. He doesn't. Again, though, it's like it's like this does happen in football matches sometimes. I feel like when you're really far ahead in the first half, whatever you do, whatever you choose, the players just naturally take their foot off the pedal. But somehow they put more shots than us now. But we're just far more clinical, I suppose. I mean, ridiculously clinical. Or, or their goalie to the shocker. Probably a bit of <laughs> bit of both, if we're honest. Uh, just ten minutes left. Then there's been very little action this half. I feel like everyone has just gone. Yeah, I think they're just playing. Look, they've they've gone up to twenty two shots. I think they're just throwing people forward, shooting when they can to try and at least take a goal home. Well, our players, I don't think we've we've barely had a shot this half. We're just sitting back. We're like fine. Even though I've not changed anything, the players just go. Yeah, we don't need to. So it's interesting. Kevin Davis, that could be. Kay Davis on their team. It's not Kevin Davis, I know. Avram Grant there to Kevin Davis. Elunga clears it. Come on, Obi. Get your hat trick, mate. Oh, I thought he was going to get it as well. That would have been lovely to see. We're getting shots on goal, but they're too far out to be a regular threat. I don't think it matters right now, mate. We're five no up with fifty seconds left, but thanks for letting me know. Plays it forward to Roberts. Here we go. Players just heading it about, having a bit of fun. Don't be silly. Make sure we keep the clean sheet. I want to keep the clean sheet because I don't. I don't keep clean sheets often in Football Manager, to be honest. Most seasons, even if I win the league, I go, oh, you had four clean sheets this year or something stupid. There we go. Blow your whistle, ref. What a performance. What a match. Absolutely incredible. 25 shots they had. Wow. <laughs> Achievement, thumping and hat-trick. I presume thumping is for a 5-0 win, maybe? Mm. Ah, Bingham. What if we can get... <laughs> oh, I might sign him and rename him Stuart Bingham. Let's um, scout him. I'm going to end up with just a team of snooker players. I'm going to end up signing Paige, aren't I? <laughs> and we already had one sacking, by the way. Chelmsford sacked their manager. So I'm not the worst manager in the league. I mean, just, just really quickly, is there a player? There must be an Ebden. Uh, oh, no, there's loads of clubs called Ebden. No, there's no one who's... There's no Ebden. Every every episode from now on, I will search a different snooker player's name. Today we've got Bingham and Ebden, so you've got two for one. But yeah, we're winning the third qualifying round. We were not expecting to progress past the second one. Literally, they were just expecting us to enter and lose. The lowest possible standards. Let's praise Saunders. That was fantastic. Please never leave. <laughs> what is this? ITV Sport, you absolute traitors. We asked Hemmer Hempstead supporters if they felt Tom Mayhew should be sacked as manager. Yes, 59%. How dare you? I, how can I ban you from ever coming to my match, ITV? What a horrible thing to do. Why would 59% of people ban, say I should be sacked? Literally, I know the league forms isn't great, but you know we're not in the relegation zone. And our recent form, you know, one, two, 
three. I know it includes the FA Cup perform thing, but that is, you know, one, two, three, four out of out of six we've won. So I think that's a bit harsh. Oh wow! In the fourth qualifying round for the FA Cup, we'll play Oldham Athletic. I believe the fourth qualified round is the first round when non-league teams come into it. So that's probably one of the hardest draws we could possibly get. So, um, that could be a tricky one. So here we are. Our next game is against Slough. Apparently, we have lost our last five away games in the league. But, I mean, these are decent ratings here for some of these players. They are fifth in the league. They're much harder than us. But I really do think this could be uh, the match where we end that run. Oh, they're unbeaten in five. Okay, this could be tricky. Good luck, everyone. <laughs> it would be nice to get two wins in the episode. But we all know football manager doesn't always work like that. But here's a free kick. Really far out. Ooh. Imagine if we scored that. <laughs> Sears back to the goalie. Oh, the goalie's giving it away. Oh, Hada, I don't need you doing that, mate. I don't think I'm even playing you as a sweeper keeper. I'm playing you as a normal keeper. Why are you doing that? Almost 30 minutes in. If I'd paid to watch this, I'd be wanting my money back. I'd be going, oi, shoot, do something. I didn't pay... 20 quid to see 0 0.04 goals. Uh, no, I don't want you guys to score. That's not what I meant. Oh, good save by Haddart. Boots it upfield. And the uh, Palace hits it back forward. Obi there gets it and heads on to Greenridge. Oh, he should have scored there. I mean, he keeped it a while to save it, but I thought. That was a very good chance. Green Ridge with the corner now. Saunders here puts it in to Sears. He runs away with the ball. Oh, that's a foul again. This is in very good position. Come on, just at least get it on target. Oh, no, it's not on target. <laughs> oh, God, just before half time, they've got a corner. Come on, Obi, get it, get it. Nope. You've, you've not got it. You do have it, but you've just literally smacked it away. <laughs> Proper old school play here, but oh, oh my word. I really thought Hadar had messed up and that was going in. It should have really, but when we get to half time at nil nil, I think that'd be a, a decent battling performance so far. And to be honest, it's been fairly equal. Hemmer Hempstead are enjoying themselves, so well, that's what. <laughs> That's what matters. The results don't matter as long as we're having fun. Hugh Jackman there to Williams. Ooh, I thought that was in. Do we go defensive away from home or do we stick positive? I think we've got to go a bit cautious from now for the last 10 minutes. Because I think they're going to throw everyone forward. They know that, based on the table, they should beat us. And they're at home, so they're going to go for it. But if we can get a draw here, you know, that would not be not be too bad at all, I think. Oh, two minutes left and there's a highlight. No good for Huddett's got it. Right. He's going to boot it because that's how he plays. <laughs> Uh, there we go. Hunt hit it forward and we've got it back. Thompson now going for it. Oh, a bit of head ping pong. Saunders now, come on. Green, red, through to Obi. Come on, Obi, can you win it? Oh, how did you miss? How did you miss that? I've gone from saying we'll take a nil-nil to feeling like we've just thrown away three points. But come on, can we get it here? No, we can't. Not like that. Not with that finishing. I mean, on balance, I think, uh, you know, it's good to 
stay unbeaten. You're good to hopefully climb the table a bit. But you should have won that for us, Obi, mate. Oh, look, Bingham would be a terrific sign in. Fairly poor intelligence on the. Do not insult Stuart Bingham, he is a genius. I think he, yeah, it'd have to be a loan sign. I think he'll cost too much. A fee of three grand, actually. How much have we got? Oh, we've got about half of that. Well, let's see if we get him on loan, shall we? Let's make an offer. Let's try and get Bingham. <laughs> and we'll find out if we get him in the next episode. But I think it's good to uh, end that poor form. Away from home. Oh, part of me thinks, do we do the older match next? Because that will be a real... You know, that's probably one of the biggest teams we're going to face, realistically, this season. So maybe we do do that, but then I've not really given it much gap between games. But uh, let me know in the comments if you want to see Oldham, or if you'd rather I came back sort of around Ebb's Bleak. Ebb's fleet uh, and haven't let me know what you think in the comments thank you so much for watching please do like and comment and subscribe and all that stuff it really does help look after yourselves